Also tonight back here at home, a return trip from Florida for a Buffalo family ended in tragedy this morning on the New York State Thruway. Three people, including an infant, died when their van struck a thruway vehicle in southern Erie County, and eight others, including children, were hurt. We have two reports. Dave McKinley will tell us more about the victims and the struggle by doctors to save very young lives. Yeah, but we're going to begin tonight with Channel 2's Ron Plant, who has the details of how that crash actually occurred and what police have learned so far. State police investigators looked through the wreckage of the Mazda minivan, seeking more information about what led up to the early morning crash, a crash which killed three people, including a one-month-old baby boy. It also left several other passengers, mostly children, with critical injuries. It is gruesome, and anybody that has children, I'm sure it pulls on their heartstrings as well. Troopers say the crash occurred just after 7.30 in the eastbound lanes of the thruway in the town of Brant near the Silver Creek exit. Police say the van, packed with 10 people, drifted off the highway and into the central grass median where it struck the back of a parked thruway dump truck. That truck had an arrow sign board to warn motorists as workers cleaned up debris in the median. The eastbound lanes of the highway were closed for several hours as emergency responders rushed to the mass victim scene. That included four air ambulances that carried patients to hospitals. The injuries perhaps worse because police say not all the young victims were in appropriate child safety seats. It appears that it's a very unfortunate event that I can't believe you know, families are still doing this without child seats. And, and if anybody takes anything away from this, I want to stress the importance of using properly restrained ch children in child seats, booster seats, whatever the condition may be for your children. As for the cause, investigators feel there are some strong indications. Our preliminary right now, I'd say that the scene is consistent with drowsy driving, driver falling asleep. There's also a possibility the driver suffered a medical condition. We won't know that till an autopsy is completed. Now, the eighth injury was actually to a thruway employee who was in that parked truck when it was struck. He suffered a wrist injury and should be okay. One of the victims, the female passenger, did speak briefly with state police at the scene, but sadly, she later died from her injuries at the hospital. In the Information Center, Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.